Howdy folks! What we're working on here today is the ridge line. The 2006 Honda. Okay. What I'm doing is replacing... Uh, not too long ago I replaced the whole suspension on this thing. And... Wasn't too long after that. Um, I started noticing it uh, thunking again from the front. So, when I, re when I mean the whole suspension, I replaced... Uh, you know the strut, the whole strut assembly, lower control arm, uh, sway bar end links, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I did not replace the uh, sway bar bushings, and they still may be bad, but I'll be damned if I don't know if I got a problem with my air compressor or what, but I cannot get those bolts loose. So that may be a project for another day, but. At the same time that I did this, I also replaced the back sway bar end links. And I've noticed, going over the crusty ancient bridge over there that you guys have seen on my rides, um, <clears throat> I can hear the back end clunking again. So, and like I said, it didn't clunk at first, and then it started clunking. So, I'm wondering, these are Moog uh, sway bar end links. So, I don't know if they are crap or what so the sway bar end links aren't that expensive and they're not really all that hard to to take off kind of a, a pain more than anything now i do like the way the moogs are because you can actually put a wrench uh where you see my hand down here on the inside instead of the allen um so that is kind of nice but i don't know exactly what the problem is so i'm replacing them again and I'm hoping that's it. And if it's not, then I know it's those bushings um, for the actual sway bar itself. And then I will have to figure out how to get those bolts loose. I mean, I could try heating them, but I was even trying to hit them with an impact and it was uh, not even turning them. And uh, let's see here what I do with my light. I don't know if that light's gonna help or hurt you guys, but and it probably won't even stay there anyway. And these bolts back here ain't got a whole lot of room to turn it, and you don't have enough room to uh, get a uh, socket in there. So and that is an 18. Track coming from the other side, but I don't think it's going to matter any. Maybe it does. That might be loose enough for me to turn off anyway. Yeah. Okay, there's one nut. Let me get uh, my pry bar. We'll try not to uh, whack you guys. All right, so now let's take the top one off. Yeah, I need to take a look at my air compressor. I think it may be funking up. I've noticed I got I got this new little little one from Earthquake XT from Harbor Freight and uh, used it down in Florida and I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, it worked pretty damn good. But I get it up here, this thing wouldn't even take the tire off, and neither would my other one. And I had these torqued according to the spec of 94 pounds. Whiz this off. Ah! Well, that came off fairly easy. Now, these other ones, um, I don't know if you see on here on the end of that, you can actually put a, a wrench right here, which is handy. <laughs> I should have videoed. I don't even know if I, maybe I did. I can't remember when I 
I had to take these things off. Oh man, that was a job. Pardon the noises here, compressor. But uh, oh yeah, I had to cut these things off, heat them up. Oh, it was a real total pain in the butt. But I got it done. The back was just as much of a pain. And there is a recall on these cars, believe it or not, being a 2006. Um, for something with a gas tank in the rear. And supposedly, they will replace something back there. this one up first. As it rolls away from me. Well, like I said, it's not a terribly complicated job. I just, I did the passenger side already. And... I didn't record over there because I do, this actually, this truck is actually pretty big and I don't have a whole lot of room over there and it's really kind of dark so I figured I would just record this side. And if I can, I sometimes do not like these gloves. Spin this down a little bit more before I have to put that Allen key in there. No. I hate when they do that. It's like it's not a pain enough. But we'll get it done. Then we'll We'll hop in the truck, we'll drive across the bridge, and see if we hear any more clunking. Alright, where did I put my Allen? This one up here can use that, and that was an 18. tell if it's spinning that Allen or not. Yeah, it's not. I'm just going to snug it up and then I'll get the bottom one on. So this Nut up here is an 18, bottom's an 18, and that's pretty much it. Um, you don't really. Now, there is a kind of a trick to this bottom one. You want to get a pry bar and pry your sway bar down and put it in. Now, um, you got to be mindful that when you do that, this uh, bolt is going to be crooked, and I'll probably end up spinning this thing around so I can get a little bit better leverage on it. try to spin this around. Might not be able to because of my bar is kind of long. But uh, might be able to get it shoved up under this. Now of course it's in my way. 
need a better angle. Because you can wedge it up under your uh, tie rod. And that is another piece that I did not replace. I have them, but I didn't replace them because they didn't, weren't bad. I just got them just in case. Okay, I need this other Allen. This is the pain part because you got to get this Allen key in that hole back there and you can't see it. is on. So we should be, I gotta tighten this top one still. Almost forgot. I don't, like I said, I don't know what the torque specs are. I just make it good and tight. Okay, so that looks pretty sturdy. We won't know until we put the tire back on. Uh, torque spec is 94 pounds uh, for your lug nuts. Take my flashlight out that I left it underneath the car last time on the other side. Ugh. See if I can get my tire over here without knocking you guys all over the place. Yep. Howdy. All right, lug nuts. Where to put those at? Now nah, I'm probably going to sell this one. I got the uh, 18 ridge line up here now, so don't have a need for two ridge lines. Although my 18 is only front wheel drive, and this one's all wheel drive. Uh, super, I mean, they're both, well, they're nice trucks. The 2018 is a super, super nice truck. Really love that thing. Rides just like a car, handles like a car, SUV, and yet it's a truck. I know a lot of people diss them because it's not a truck. Sound like an F-150. 
In my opinion, it's better than an F-150. It's a Honda. It ain't gonna rust out in three years. It gets uh, on average 25 26 miles to the gallon this one here this puppy here this one gets about 19 18 19 but I'm sure that has to do with the all-wheel drive that'd be my guess down this one's got 200,000 miles on it my 2018 I just turned 50 Tell you what though, I know a lot of people don't torque their lug nuts, and honestly, I never did either until uh, it was after I got this. You know, I was uptown coming back, and the uh, front end started wobbling. I said, what the hell? So I pulled over, and sure enough, lug nuts had come loose on uh, the passenger side. So I tightened them back down, you know, cranked them down, and did it again. So that's the first time I've ever had had it where the uh, lug nuts uh, loosened up like that. So from now on, I torque the lug nuts. All right, let's see here. Make sure I got no critters. Come on, Chuck. Get out from the car. Always got to check these guys. They like to uh, get up under the cars. They like to get in the cars. Come on, Chuck. Then I'll see if I can park you in the seat. We'll go for a ride. Come on, Chuck. Get out of the way, buddy. Can't be running you over today. up in the seat on the tripod to see if the clunking goes away can't say I've ever taken anybody for a ride like this okay I guess you're seeing out the window oh no you're falling out I guess I'm just going to have to hold on to you. See how well this camera picks up noise. Should have taken this one up and down today and got gas in it. It is 374 a gallon up here. Well, I know if it uh, if it's still making that noise in the front, then it's got to be them uh, that sway bar bushing. Uh, 
There's two of them, one on each side. across the damn bridge. Can't even see around it. Okay, I did hear the clucking in the back. Didn't notice it so much in the front. And I'm not hearing it clunk going up this hill. But I hear it in the back. Yeah. So, uh... Word. The, like I said, these were moves. The original ones I put on were moves. Uh, I will have to look and put a link in the description for these. Like I said, the only downside to these is that you do need that five millimeter uh, Allen. Being quiet in the front. But I can still hear in the back, so I may look at uh, replacing those again since, you know, they're, I've had them on here maybe a year, so I know they're not going to be rusted on. And they shouldn't be too hard to take off. I just hate a car that clunks and rattles and don't like that. Thanks for going on the ride with me, man. It's like I got somebody in the passenger seat. go that mission is accomplished and then the back one uh, yeah you're not gonna be able to see it I have to climb up underneath the truck um, uh, like I said you know that'll actually be pretty easy to do because I did them uh, probably it's probably maybe it may, I don't even think it's been a year you know I was really that's why I was so disappointed with these Moog brand um, I think uh, about three months into doing it it started clunking again and it's like what the hell so but yeah that's the uh that's the 06 and i got my 18. super nice man it's got just as much room in it four doors back seats fold up split fold up and then it's got that cool truck right down there that opens up so yeah anyway uh, we'll do a little recap here you're gonna need an 18 on these particular ones those are the moves down there uh, don't do not recommend those and you'll need a pry bar yeah impact tools if you have to take your tire you don't need an impact take your wheels off but it does help and uh, five mil um, Allen and I think that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, they're the same, the bolts, the nuts were the same size on the Moogs and the other one, so good to go there. But anyway, that was just a quickie, quickie little video of that. Like I said, I did the passenger side already. Um, and that's so it's done and, you know, we went along for the ride and it ain't clunking no more. I didn't hear it. I don't know if you could pick it up on the camera, um, but 
anyway thanks a lot it's just a short quick one have a good one uh, give me a thumbs up give me a like give me a subscribe and uh, catch you on the next video